Hotel Park. But first, it's the top tip that could save you a lot of money on your shopping. Yes, David Dominey says it's not only cheaper to grow your own herbs, but they actually last longer too. And he's live from his potting shed to tell us more. Hiya, David. Morning. Hello, good morning to you. Yes, growing herbs is incredibly popular. It's easy to do, produces fresh, tasty herbs to embellish your any part of cooking or even your drinks as well. And spending money buying them in the supermarket is a very expensive way of doing it. You should be growing your own. It's great fun, it's healthy, it's convenient, and it's a lot less plastic. Now, let's just take a look at, at some herbs that you may use for your cooking. You can buy them in bags like this, usually gets just a, a little posy of herbs, something similar to that. But of course, the moment they cut, they start to deteriorate. And there's a ticking clock on it becoming food for the table and something for the compost. Now, to make them last a little bit longer, you may buy them in containers like this, which have been very fast grown in greenhouses to produce this, this, this uh, I suppose, very heavy foliage uh, um, top just for cutting. And it'll last a bit longer on your windowsill, but eventually it will burn out. And that's the real thing. But what about planting these in the garden, you may say? Well, the difference is, is because they've been really produced to, to give you soft foliage for cutting, this is a rosemary here, it's completely different to a plant that you would buy from a garden centre to grow. Now, to give you an idea, this one here is about £1.60, something similar to this, and this one here from a garden centre grown specifically to plant in your garden is £4.99. And you can see the difference of the soft foliage. Once it's been cut a few times, you're lucky if you'd be able to plant that afterwards. But this one here is a very sturdy, we call the, the word hardy, something that, that is quite tough and, and grown in a colder environment rather than under lights and heating in a greenhouse. And rosemary is an incredibly good herb to grow in your garden. Do you know what I do with rosemary? I actually use a whole stem of rosemary as a barbecue skewer, and I skewer the lamb, because all the, the, as you see, the foliage falls back on itself. You can skewer right the way through the lamb, and then you barbecue, and the flavor of the rosemary is right inside there with the meat. So rosemary is really good to plant out in the garden as a herb. It will grow fairly big in size. It's evergreen. It's got beautiful purple flowers. The bees and the pollinators love it. And for a fiver, you're going to get great value for money. Things like lavender, of course, you've also got. You may say to me, what cooking do you use the lavender in? Well, there's a whole host of things. People either use them in baking as well for cakes. Personally speaking, I boil some of the flowers down and use them as a botanical taste to add to the gin while I'm relaxing after a hard day's gardening. A lovely lavender gin. Oh, it's gorgeous. But things like uh, sage as well is really easy to grow in your borders. And if you like to mix it with a little bit of butter and then you put it onto your pasta, it's fantastic. But growing herbs is great fun and it saves you money. Now, just to take a look here, I'm not going to plant up this lovely ornamental container here. Instead, I'm going to plant up this old bucket. So the first thing I do is get the bucket and drill a load of holes just in the bottom of the bucket like that. I've not actually done it, but you get the picture. You need to create some drainage holes there. Put it down, a little bit of gravel in the bottom, and just mix that around to help the drainage, and plenty, plenty of peat-free compost going into the container there. Let's actually tip a whole load of it in as we go. And it's as simple as that. Now, the compost I've put in here probably costs somewhere in the region, I don't know, four pounds, something similar to that. It's half a container there. And what I'm going to do is plant in one mint right in the centre of the container like that. Now, mints are great. They're really good to add with a lamb dish, especially if you're doing mint sauce. Or you can also use it as a little bit of an addition into the pims of summer drinks. Um, do you know what I do? Something really naughty. I, in fact, take a leaf, I melt some chocolate, dip the leaf into the chocolate itself, put it into the fridge, and then crunch. Ooh. You don't have to eat these after eight. But that container itself, the mint itself was five pounds. The compost that I've put it in there as well, that's about four pounds, so it's nine quid. And this will fill the container and will grow for years and years outside your back door. And the other thing about it, you're always better to grow mint in containers because they spread everywhere. If you bought a packet of mint, something similar to this, you've got uh, this working at uh, one pound 60, and that's one pound 60. If you times that, 
by, I don't know, once uh, a week for, uh, for someone in the region of about David, six, David. six months, something similar. Yes, yeah, so there's a disco going on here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of herbs you growing in there, my friend? What's going on? Now it's the coronation. Let's go, time. David. Let's get that rosemary on the go, brother. Yeah, oh, it's all nice. It. It. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says party like Sage. <laughs> So cheap <laughs> <laughs> This is this potty shit. It's a little bit more than anything. It's the herbs. It's the scent of the herbs. Yeah, all right. A bit more in there. Now, even if, so, so you could spend about 40 quid on mint, but in a container like that, you've got it that'll last and grow quite comfortably, uh, saving you a fortune. And it's the same using grow bags as well. If you dig a little bit of holes into the grow bags, I'm planting a little bit of chives into this one here. You cut a little segment here as well. And then you take out the compost. I fold that back. And this is sending, spending you a fortune because you've got something in the lines of 80p a time for something like time. But if you're actually planting the time itself in there, if you add up, the cost of six months' worth of herbs, if you were buying them every week for the, at six months, compared to the cost of the grow bag and the cost, you're probably talking about £80 worth of herbs you would have bought in six months. And the cost equivalent, if you grow your own, is about £20. So I'm going to plant these in a little bit smoother afterwards. But very easily, you can turn a little grow bag like this, certainly for a whole season, into something that's a little herb garden there that'll keep growing on that basis. So all of these together really add to it. So you've got a combination of chives, I've got thyme, I've got parsley, and I've also got basil in as well. And those together saves you money, you're picking it fresh, and it's incredibly healthy at the same time. Brilliant stuff. Do you know? Do you know the best thing that I've ever heard, and how I've no one's ever told me this before, but using a using rosemary as a skewer genius. for the lamb on a barbecue. Yeah, that is smart. genius. Yeah. Well, th there's loads more. Do you like uh, Do you like raspberries? Yeah. Yeah. Well, raspberries are very special. They're different from blackberries because when you pull a blackberry, there's a solid centre. When you pull a raspberry, there's a little hole in the middle. Do you know what I do? I chuck a chocolate drop in it. Put it oh. into the mouth, oh. reach your tongue to the top of the mouth, the berries burst, the crunch of the chocolate. It's all about growing your own and, oh and getting that flavour. Loads of I hints like and tips. Fountain of knowledge. See, they're, they're yeah. the life hacks I need. Yeah. <laughs> to forget the Tupperware and all that stuff. Amazing. Give me the chocolate. The He's raspberry. so focused on his herbs, he forgets to pay the lecky bill and change <laughs> bulbs, but that's OK. <laughs> That's okay. Listen, that was the disco we wanted. <laughs> that was the disco I wanted. Thanks, Thank David. you, David. Cheers. Thank you very much. That's really You're very welcome. Mm, mm. Chocolate and the raspberry. I know. Yeah, brilliant. Good stuff. <laughs> right.